Today I'm going to convert this desktop PC into a dedicated Cody Entertainment Center, uh, complete with all the bells and whistles. With this you'll be able to watch just about anything in the world that you want to watch. We'll start by going to uh, openelic.tv, their website, and click on download. And then we're going to go for one of the generic builds for this particular unit. I'm going to use the 64-bit build here. Download that. And we'll probably need a couple other pieces of software. In order to extract that, we'll need 7-zip, and you can get that from 7-zip.org. Download this installer. Now we'll go ahead and run the installer for 7-zip because we'll need that piece of software in order to extract this image file. We are also going to need uh, the Win32 Disk Imager application. It's available free from SourceForge. Go ahead and run through the installation for uh, the disk imager. Right now I'm going to insert my USB stick that I'll be using for the installation. And then I'm gonna browse to the download location where I saved my um, compressed image of open elic and I'm going to extract that image and then fire up the disk imager and we're going to browse to that image it's in downloads there's the image double click it uh, disk imager went to the background that's weird here we go okay and the selected device is disk f which is the usb stick I just inserted so <clears throat> we'll go ahead and tell it to write and we're going to write to that disk. Yes, confirm that I want to continue. It will overwrite everything on this disk. Now that our USB installation media has been prepared, we're ready to reboot the machine and boot directly to that disk. Upon reboot, you'll need to enter uh, the boot menu by pressing whichever key your motherboard requires. At this stage, we'll have to select our USB installation media and hit enter to boot to that. After a few seconds, our open elic installer will boot and uh, we'll be brought to the installation page. So what we're going to select is number one, quick install. Going to have to select the device that we're going to install to, which in this case is a 640 gig internal, um, just physical hard drive. Yes, we have to confirm that it will be wiped out. And once again, <laughs> confirm. Once the installation is completed, we can go ahead and reboot the machine, this time booting to our internal hard drive.
Now we'll go through the basic setup. I'm going to install a few packages. One package that contains just about all the plugins that are standard for this type of system. One of the first things I'm going to do here is head over to the file manager and add a source for Fusion at XBMC Hub. This will allow me to install numerous plugins. So now that our source is added, we'll go ahead and go to add-ons and we're going to install from zip file and we'll browse to that newly created source. Click on start here and then the hub wizard. Once the hub wizard is installed, you can go over to programs and click on config wizard. For this particular device, since we're on Linux, we'll select the Linux installation. And that's it. We've now converted this old PC into a very powerful home entertainment center. Uh, media center platform. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, thanks for watching.